la la look what i got today bunch of bloom gels there's dark blue pearlescent pearlescent baby blue pearlescent watermelon parrotfish green lily peely pink kookaburra brown fairy red blue and golden wattle yellow so I'm not going to use all these colors tonight, but I'm going to pick a few and I've got something new I want to try out. Haven't even tried it on a test canvas. So if it works fine, if it doesn't scrape and do over. See you soon. Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. How you guys doing? Well, I got a 20 by 20 um, gallery wrapped canvas and I have it taped and sprayed and push put. So I have put a little bit of Artist Loft straight out of the bottle, Artist Loft Flow White, onto my canvas just to create a tacky surface. I am going to be doing a little bit, something a little bit different tonight. I'm gonna to be using my blow dryer and it's not really a Dutch pour, but um, it's gonna be a pearl pour with lacing. Uh, I just mixed up this one, so I might have some bubbles. This is Golden's Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue Hue mixed with uh, lots of water. We have Modern Masters, Venetian Blue. This is a combination of Boom Gel, Parrot Green, and it's also mixed with a little bit of Amsterdam Greenish Blue. This is Boom Gel in Fairy Wren Blue. That's what they look like. I just got a bunch in today. I didn't know which ones to try first. And we have Boom Gel in Kookaburra, Kookaburra Brown. And this is our, um, this is Modern Masters in champagne so i am excited to try this tonight i have no idea if these colors are going to go together i have no idea if this is going to work or not but i am going to take a five ounce cup and i'm going to start layering my colors going dark to light hope this works. If it doesn't, we can scrape and we can do it over. The one great thing about this, um, hmm, what do I want to add next? I'm going to add the brown. Um, one good thing about this technique is you don't have to use a lot of color. Then the fairy wren blue, which this seems to be an opaque color. And then the Modern Masters. I really, this really reacted well um, when I poured it on its own. All right, I got a bunch of splatters all over here. That's okay. And I'm going to wash my hands a little bit. And this is the um, Deco Art Satin Enamel Mix. And I'm going to pour it down. I'll, I'll put the um, dis the recipe in the description. And we're just moving the paint around. I want to make sure we have it on all corners. I might put a little extra on. You don't want too much, but then you don't. It's kind of a delicate balance between too much and not enough because once you start tilting, if you have too much on, you're gonna end up <clears throat> with your cells starting and then you're not finished um, tilting because you've got too much paint on. So it's always, it's kind of a hit or miss. It's a little bit like that with this technique. 
put, I think I'm gonna put just a little bit on the corners, at least right here. Just to give a little something, something to, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, well, that's like a river. There. It won't go to waste. I'll scrape my table and we'll be just fine for the next one. All right, so I am going to put this down and I'm going to try a blow dryer. That's going to be interesting. Ooh, I like that color combination. So I'm going to tilt it around just a little bit. Oh my, do I really want to um, do a blow dryer thing? Oh, lovely. This is a different color palette for me. Um, I might try the blow dryer thing anyways, what the heck. You know what, let's just get a little bit more composition out of this. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's empty. This, I don't even know if I want to do anything to this. Oh, Lord. You know, I'm going to I'm going to do this and then I'm going to regret using the blow dryer. I just know it. Um, well, I can always do it again. Let's try it out. Got to try new things all the time, you know? All right, pardon, pardon me, but it's going to be a little bit loud. guys I cannot do anything with that lacing I just love it too much all right so we're gonna give it a few minutes um, I'm liking the lacing already Let me find a, a little slot for this. and wow just wow um, I knew that the champagne would react because we, we did that the last time and it did really well um, this is kind of a blob. I might blow that with um, blow that out a little bit with my mouth. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. There we go. And where's my palette knives? Oh, they're there. All right. And move it to a easier spot to blow. You know, I don't want to blow it that way though. Well, purdy, purdy, purdy. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking all of it. I might do something with this. I'm not used to using browns, but it's really pretty. All right, another bubble there. I am going to put you guys on time lapse. I might fiddle. 
because that's what I do. But holy jeez, I'm really liking this. Let's torch it. Let's see what Mr. Fire can do to it. Mr. Fire was on vacation. This corner makes something. There we go. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm liking this. Look at all the. Oh. Oh. Too cool. Yeah, I love the um, color combinations, the color palette. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you guys on the time lapse and I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, oh my goodness. I'm really glad I blew this out. Um, just when I thought I, <laughs> there was nowhere else to go with this technique. Um, this is just, I love it. I love every inch of it. And it's, um, Oh, it's just the colors. The thing about this um, technique is putting too many colors is not necessarily good. So I think I had just the right blend, even with the brown that I'm not used to, but sometimes we have to push the envelope. And there's that lovely champagne. And I love these little guys hanging out. And this, oh, I kind of fiddled around quite a bit with this. And uh, I like the outcome. And this is definitely organic here. Loving that little bit of uh, teal color there. Look at the cells. They're so pretty. And there's one part, oh, here it is. I added some of that teal straight from the bottle. So that's the Mali Rignac Blue, which is kind of close to the color I've mixed up. Um, and see how it doesn't react? So you can, I wanted, I did that on purpose so you guys could see that if you need to add detail or, um, Add some depth to it, you can. So this is the mixture of um, paints gray and, oh, I thought I saw something in it. Oh, I do, there's a little piece of something in there, right there, I'm gonna have to get that. But um, yeah, and then paints gray and the impression blue, and then over top of that was the, or, over top or underneath, underneath I think it was, um, was the um, Venetian blue. So that's how we got that sparkle. So this is one of my favorites I've ever done. I'm really happy with it. Uh, if you like this, please like the video. Please share and subscribe if you want. Uh, please be safe and create and ciao for now.